Hello my dear friends, in this video I'll show you 5 restaurants in Athens, Greece where I enjoyed some yummy vegan food. Let's start! First is Mama Tierra, which was probably my favorite place. It is completely vegan, although they advertise it as vegetarian and vegan. Their menu is so extensive, they have everything from traditional Greek dishes to Indian food, creamy linguine, burgers, etc. and yummy desserts and beverages. The chef, coming from India, is inspired from all four corners of the planet and combines flavors of the Mediterranean, the Middle East, Asia and Latin America. We ordered the moussaka and the sutsukakia because we really wanted to try some traditional Greek food. And oh my goodness, awesome doesn't even begin to describe these dishes. The sutsukakia is a tomato ragu with little balls made of eggplants, spices and what I believe might be some lentils to mimic meatballs. Served with basmati rice, this sutsukakia is one of the best things I've ever tasted. The way it was cooked with high quality ingredients, different herbs and spices made it that much better. We also ordered the moussaka, which we had both never tasted before. Moussaka is usually made with layers of eggplant or zucchini slices, potatoes, cheese, meat sauce, and topped with a thick bechamel sauce. But this version was made with beans instead of meat and a thick coconut milk bechamel. I cannot begin to express how tasty and yummy this moussaka was. The person working at the restaurant told us that it tasted exactly like traditional moussaka and that it was even better. This little place was very close to our Airbnb and their falafel sandwiches being only 2 euros, it was a good option for when we were on the go. Enjoy Just Falafel is run by George, a Lebanese man living in Greece for almost 30 years. And he offers fresh ingredients, all vegetarian and almost completely vegan. Although they don't only serve falafel, this is the only thing we ate when we were there, since it's so good. Our favorite thing about these sandwiches is how it's made with real pita bread, freshly fried falafels and the way they put lots of fresh mint leaves inside. Good morning everybody. We are what we eat. Mm -hmm. We are vegetarian and vegan mm -hmm. restaurant. You want to come anytime. Thank you so much, George. <laughs> come to enjoy just falafel. <laughs> I think Gab was in love with this falafel sandwich. Avocado is a vegetarian cafe, your typical sort of hippie boho-ish restaurant. There were many vegan options on the menu, which is why we decided to give it a try. Avocado is one of Athens' top-rated restaurants and it is obviously well-loved by the people in the city. We ordered the signature avocado burger, no cheese, as well as this dish called Zen Tempeh. I really enjoyed the avocado burger. It had unique flavors that I had never seen in a burger, like ginger, coriander, basil, sesame oil, tamari sauce, and it was topped with peanut sauce, onions, lettuce, tomato, and a generous portion of avocado. And it was served with some sweet potato flakes as well as a spicy tomato sauce. It was quite good, but I was a bit disappointed to be honest because it lacked flavor quite a bit. I was expecting it to have a strong flavor with all these fragrant ingredients, but it ended up being a little bit bland. The ambiance and the service were amazing though. So next is Taqueria Maya, which is a lovely little restaurant in the center with a Latin American vibe. They serve tacos, burritos, Cuban sandwiches. It's not vegan or even vegetarian, but they are very accommodating to vegans. I really enjoyed the tacos at Taqueria Maya. They definitely put a lot of effort in using authentic quality ingredients and serve food that's as close as possible to original flavors of Latin American cuisine. It's all just very fresh and delicious. The best part is their corn tortillas. They get non-GMO corn from Northern Italy and hand make them. I thought the price was a bit high at first, about 650 uh, euros for three tacos. But when I received them and then added guacamole, pickled jalapenos and pickled onions, as well as green tomatillo sauce, well, each taco was so filling. I ate about four of them and it was perfect for me. 
There was such a fun energy in there with music of various Latin American styles playing, lots of colorful decorations and the super friendly staff. And of course the food was amazing to say the least. For Valentine's Day, Gab and I had dinner at Lime Bistro. It has a nice chic sort of vibe and we sat in the back room where there wasn't anyone else, but believe me the front room was full of people. We each ordered the plate of mushroom gyros. It was the most surprising dish out of everything else we've tried up until now. The oyster mushrooms are barbecued and they taste exactly like your traditional charcoal barbecue gyros. It is served with crispy potatoes and homemade pitas as well as tomatoes and onions. But the best part was their almond yogurt sauce which they prepare in a yogurt machine. I think it was mixed with cucumber and mint because it tasted a lot like tzatziki. Um. I'm going crazy. But it tastes like actual yogurt. How do they make this? This tastes, tastes like um, like barbecue. Really good, 10 out of 10. Worth the price, a little pricey, but worth the price. Unbelievably good. I would come back to Athens in a heartbeat just to have it again. For dessert, we ordered their Snickers pie. It was delectable with a chocolatey, hazelnutty and caramelly flavor. I didn't know it was more of a mousse until I ordered it, which I don't particularly like, but I still enjoyed it. And that is it! All in all, Athens was a very vegan-friendly city, which quite surprised me. There were also many health food stores that carried vegan cheeses, vegan meats and lots of other typical natural vegan products. If you want to travel to Athens, whether you're vegan or not, I think you'd really enjoy the restaurants I showed you in this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.